Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your daily reading for Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. Cannot believe we are already in April, guys. Where does the time go? <laughs> and April Fools, right? I can't believe it's April Fools. I wish sometimes this was a giant April Fools joke with everything that's going on in the world. Um, sometimes, right? You just gotta have a sense of humor about it. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, we'd all be in a really meek place, a really meek place. But anyway, um, if you're new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit, hit subscribe, hit subscribe. Um, <clears throat> just hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. Um, as always, guys, this is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with every single soul that's out there. This is a daily reading for April 1st on life, love, and career. Please just take what resonates, leave the rest, and as always, utilize your own intuition. If you want something more private and personable, go into the description box below for a private reading and you can book that, okay? All right, here we go. Let's get started with some oracle cards here on life, love, and career. What we need to know for Wednesday, April 1st. What do we need to know? Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascended masters as to what messages that we need to hear today. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? <clears throat> you know, it's still, we still got snow out here in uh, Michigan. And I am so used to not seeing snow in April. <laughs> I'm from Jersey and South Jersey. So usually like the tulips and the daffodils are out right now. And the first thing I thought this morning was, <clears throat> when's spring? When will, we, when will I be able to get out? <laughs> All right. On life, we have choices, feeling blocked, restrained. Like I said, where's spring? <laughs> what it feels like it does feel like a block right like feeling like ugh, and that's that's majority of us going through this right now right in this isolation on love we have I wonder what will happen next ready for adventure I wonder what will happen next mm, I feel like we got that earlier this week and on career we have we're all mad here everyone is a little bit different everyone is a little bit different I love that I'm utilizing the Alice in Wonderland um, cards because like I said, I feel like sometimes we are in Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> but we start off here with life with choices, feeling blocked, restrained. This is that, <clears throat> and listen, a majority of us are going through this right now where, yeah, we're through, we're going through this whole self-isolation thing, but this is more than this. This is like, just like, is this getting repetitive and repetitive thoughts in your head, okay? When are things going to change? Many of us are just feeling that way. <clears throat> Some of us are having trouble getting over a relationship. I'm hearing a relationship, so be curious what the loved one is. Like, feel like it's something stuck. Like, it feels like um, you're either waiting for communication and the choice is you could reach out to this individual or the choice is um, this person has not taken the choice to reach out to you and it's leaving you in kind of in that stagnant feeling, okay? Um, <clears throat> but like I said, that's, this is general when it comes to life, so sometimes it does pull in love in there. Now for love, we have, I wonder what <clears throat> will happen next, ready for adventure. I do feel like kind of go hand in hand with the life one. This is again, feeling that thing of waiting, kind of reminds me of the hangman a little bit. But the difference between this is that it's a completion. So I do feel like today, it's about getting out of this, okay? You might be feeling like you're stuck this morning or feeling like, okay, nothing's are gonna change, but I do feel like today, it's like, <clears throat> like, hmm. Some of you might actually get some kind of message here because when I see this journal, I'm hearing message that you might actually get a message today that's gonna break you out of this. But let's see, we'll see what the tarot cards have to say. Now on um, career, we have, we're all mad here. Everyone is a little different, 23. Comes to a five, this is all about change. Today feels like you might have, <laughs> and this is gonna be for a few of you, okay? But it's a very direct message, so I'm gonna get it out and it is what it is. But it feels like you're doing something, and I'm not gonna say unethical, but it feels like, um, it feels like outside of the box. This feels like an outside of the box thinking to get through something, all right? This could be a creative idea. It almost seems mad, 
all right? But here's the difference. You have other individuals who are supporting you and backing you up on this. They might have actually suggested it and you're kind of questioning it. Like, is this crazy? Are we actually going to do this? That's what it feels like. All right, let's see what the tarot cards have to say for, um, <clears throat> for life on these choices. You know, choices is a six, which is all about balance. This is, this is about getting your balance on too. Um, realizing that you do have a choice on how you feel, even though you may feel blocked. <clears throat> you might feel like it's out of your control, but you definitely have a feeling as to, do you want to stick into it? Do you want to feel it out? We have the Page of Cups, the Six of Cups reversed, and the Nine of Pentacles. This definitely feels, uh, for life uh, today, feels uh, relationship-wise. But <clears throat> this is, you know, when you read the Page of Cups, and you might be dealing, because we have a lot of water energy here, so Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, you might be one. Here's what it is. Today, someone is feeling very apologetic, okay? You might have someone, if it's not you, it's someone coming into in there that is going to be offering an apology, okay? The thing is, with the Six of Cups here reverse, you are definitely dealing with somebody who is close to you. So this could be a family member, a loved one, um, like I said, a spouse, or somebody who's significant to you, okay? This individual does have a lot of love for you, but with the reverses, tell me there's been an imbalance, okay? Somebody wants to correct a situation. This could just be wanting to correct a situation and not being able to get past feelings, okay? But I do feel like if it's not you who wants to set an apology, you might just be like, why can't this person apologize? Or why do I always feel like on my own? Now the Nine of Pentacles is being independent and on your own. So <clears throat> she's happy. She's she's quite happy in her independence. She's happy because she's financially stable. I feel like you're not, <clears throat> and it's not financially, just financially stable, abundance stable, okay? So this could be in love too. But what I really want to point out here with the choices in the Nine of Pentacles here, okay, look at the difference in expressions, okay? This is what you want to get to. And I feel like it's like until I can get through this, this apology or get this person um, so that I can, you know, not feel stuck in this, I won't feel balanced. And that's what really is coming out here. So I feel like you're thinking about wanting to be balanced, okay? Many of you, it's like, I don't wanna be stuck anymore and it's time for me to be on my own and independent. I don't wanna, I'm hearing I don't wanna rely on this individual anymore. <clears throat> but I do feel like someone is coming in or you're thinking about this person and you, know, you just wanna clear something so that you can move on. That's what it feels like. All right, let's see what we have on love. I wonder what will happen next. Ready for adventure, precipice of change, pause before action. I feel like you're getting some kind of note today. Let's see what the cards have to say. Even if it's a phone call or something, something unexpected. Ace of rods reversed, the nine of wands, interesting, and judgment, yeah. <clears throat> Ace of Rods reverse. You might be dealing with the fire sign here. We got a lot of fire here. All right. This is all about wanting to have that new adventure, You're being handed a new adventure, right? A new start. It's funny how it says, I wonder what will happen next, a precipice of change ready for adventure, right? And this is reversed. To me, it's stating that there's some kind of message that you're getting today that makes you feel a little bit defensive that you're staring at this is why there has not been a new start okay many of you and you know you have judgment here so many of you this is definitely a family situation but there's something divine coming in today i just feel many of you are getting a message of some sort that leaves you wondering today as to what's the next steps okay you might feel a little bit defensive okay about what's what this message entails or it might just be in a sense of like, I finally got the answer of what I need to move on, okay? But there's definitely judgment in this. It's divine timing. So I do feel that many of you are getting this and I am hearing message on here. <clears throat> but there is no movement, okay? There's definitely a blockage. So I feel that if you haven't, if you're not the one giving this message to this individual where you feel blocked and you feel like you're waiting for it, then that's different. But to me, it feels like you're getting the message for a lot of you, okay? So that's what's happening today on love. Now on career, we are all mad here. 
messages do we have on crew? We're all mad here for April 1st. Here we go. We have the Three of Pentacles reversed. The Page of Swords reversed the Fool. <laughs> okay. What? Listen, Three of Pentacles is all about working together. With this reverse, it's telling me that you have definitely thought of something outside of the box that seems a little bit, um, a little bit wonky, okay? <clears throat> the Page of Swords is telling me that you have been really watching. Now, you could be watching maybe just observing the people around you. This could be clients. This could be coworkers. But the point is, I feel, and you might have air in your chart, but I, the point is I feel like you are watching and observing why things did not work out for you today, okay? You are ready to do something with this Fool card. This is all about taking a leap of faith and a risk. You are ready to do something that might seem a little bit foolish, okay? And, I'm, <clears throat> and it's an outside perspective. This actually is probably the best thing that you could do here is being a little bit different, okay? This difference is not something that's manipulative or um, backstabbing. It feels like the energy of like, I need to move forward and take care of myself. I have a creative idea. I'm going to go with it even if it sounds crazy. A lot of you are stepping into your confidence today and it's like you're just observing how the old ways, the old programming is not working anymore. That you're ready to go on a new adventure. You're ready to take leaps. You're ready to go towards towards the sun here, okay? There's something definitely here with the white rose that it feels like this is new. This is a pure idea that is coming from you. <clears throat> yeah, you might actually even be looking at the other people as though they are mad <laughs> because they might have had a lot of manipulation on you with riddles and so forth, like that Cheshire cat, where it just felt like they never really gave you anything that you felt like you can move forward in a position or even in, in an idea. And if this isn't a person, this is just being a block of, um, this has not really ever worked out for me. Let me try something new. And you're just evaluating it, okay? It does not necessarily have to be a person. All right, guys, that's what I have Wednesday for April 1st. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like. <clears throat> subscribe if you have not subscribed. Feel free to leave a comment, even if it's just to say hello. I love to hear from all of you. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care.